Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rank Country Sticks. This is like a two minute tip. Um, no lessons, no thing. Just working on um, a plain crook and uh, I have my stick normally attached to it so it's it sticks in the vise and I'm turning this over, uh, firing what have you. And I'm catching everything because I'm fairly cluttered in here. So, short piece of waste hazel clamped onto the end of the um, horn, can go in your vise. Turn that around, file to your heart's content, you're not knocking things over. Little tip for you, hope you like it. Thanks for subscribing, we've got lots of new subscribers. As I find out who you are, I'll give you a shout out. I think uh, Ian Anderson wants a shout out. Welcome, and uh, I hope you learn plenty here. So, just a wee little tip there. Um, hold it on in that, Jubilee Clips will hold that on tight, and uh, jobs are good. And thanks for watching, see you again. Hi, welcome to another five minute tip. Now, in the past we've talked about um, finishing these heads off and varnishing these crooks, but if you're making a stick for yourself and you don't want varnish, you don't like varnish, lots of people don't like varnish, um, then what you can do is just polish it on wheels and what have you. Now, I'm currently making a number of crooks for one customer and we're going from sort of this sort of uh, condition where We've got plenty of file marks in, there's still a lot of filing to do. Down to this way, you can see it's not bad at all, it's nice to the touch and everything. So, to achieve this very quickly, what we've done, we've got to a point where we're ready to put the collar on this. Sorry about that, we're ready to put the collar on this. Um, we've finished this off with files, and when we've got to that stage, we've used a razor blade, gone over. The whole head with a razor blade, um, take lots of material off with that, get through the scratches. Once we think we're ready, then I go on to this abrasive wheel. Polish up on there, quick polish on there. That shows me where all the real scratches are, and then the and then the work starts. Once you've got to that stage where you can see all these scratches and you need a bit of good light as well, you've got to go through. Um, a series of abrasive papers and you go finer and finer and finer until you think you've got rid of all the scratches then you go into your wire wool um, and then you can go on to something like this very very fast bit of uh, buffing compound on it and that'll polish your horn up and show you where the remaining scratches are and then you start the process again Go through your, your wet and dry, down to really fine um, grades, wire wool, and uh, buff it up again with this. Now, the only thing with this, this is a normal angle grinder, it's very, very fast, and you can't leave that on the horn. You've got to move around, keep moving. Uh, if you leave it in one spot for too long, it will burn, burn the horn and it'll spoil it. So there you are, um, just a little tip how to go from that to that, which is quite nice, um, nice and smooth, you can feel the horn, you don't want to feel, be feeling uh, varnish perhaps, and uh, if that should get wet or tarnished, then all you do is just buff it up again and it will come up. So that's it for now, goodbye.